Hello everyone. In this video I'm going to be turning a piece of spalted hagberry here. Uh, I'm going to leave a live edge on the top. So this is going to be a twice turn project. So what you're going to see here is me turning green wood and I'm going to put it in a bag here and then uh, I'll get back with you when it's dry. All right, so here I've got the piece out of the bag. It's uh, December 10th, and I put it in the bag on, what, September 20th, I think, something like that. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get it turned out. It's pretty rough right now. Uh, the tenon was all right for me to put it on there, but... It is a little wobbly, so I'm going to start back here, work my way up, and uh, I'm going to try to leave the bark if I can, 
I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not, but we'll see if, if it flies off. So. So all I try to do here is just establish nice smooth, a little bit smooth surface area where I can get my gouge to start riding on the bevel. And so I just ride the bevel a little bit and then bring it down. And it's a little bouncy the first pass. So let me try to take a little bit bigger bite. I can usually get it screwed up in one pass. This one's a little bit wobbly here, but we'll see. It's wobbly, so it throws the, wants to throw the gouge off the wood. Just like if you were at a bar conclusion or anything like that, that causes it to bounce. So come back, take another little bite. up here and I'll start from this side and take a look at it okay I need to take a little bit more off right here Looks like I still got a little bit of a area here. Need to clean up, maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and come on in. So maybe I don't tear the bark up. Do some pull cuts and some shear scrape here. Get it smooth. I can turn the speed up a little bit. That'll help. All right, looking pretty good. I did put some super glue on the bark earlier just to try to help keep it together. Got a little bit of a punky area right here, but it'll sand out. Looks pretty good. A little bit more right here. Should be all right to, to sand. All right, so I've sanded it to 320. So I'm going to go ahead and put some uh, sanding sealer on here. Then we'll run some abrasive paste over it.
real happy with the way that the spalting worked. Friend of the guy that I work for, he had a tree, a hackberry tree, that was uh, falling down over his driveway. So he brought me the whole tree. I cut it up into chunks and put it behind our our building in the long grass. Put some old English malt liquor on it get the bacteria starting to grow, left it there for, I don't know, it must have been about eight months, maybe maybe 10 months, and uh, about left it too long. I have noticed that there's a little bit of punk in here, a little bit of punkiness, but uh, I think it'll be all right, but the grain is really pretty. Came out really nice. Bump up the speed before I put the shine juice on. Take a look, make sure I got everything here. All right, let's get it sanded. I'm gonna start with 60 grit. This is a little punky down in there. All right, so I got the sanded, sanding sealer on here, sanded it again.
And now I'm going to try putting some abrasive paste on here. It's a lot punkier than I thought it was inside, but still a pretty piece of wood. So I'm going to go ahead and finish it up. All right, so here's the finished bowl. Got the live edge on it. The Bray doesn't have very pretty bark, but sometimes you can get some nice texture out of it. Yeah, a little funky down here. Oh, well. Pretty piece of wood, though. So. Spalting makes some amazing pieces, doesn't it? All right, well, thanks for watching, and I uh, hope to see you in the next video.